Hey, thanks for downloading Safe Lean Portfolio Manager program course brochure. It should arrive in your inbox in the next five minutes. If you haven't already downloaded it, feel free to do so by referring link mentioned below. Safe Lean Portfolio Manager certification training program helps project managers, delivery managers, as well as PMO leads to gain 100% confidence to lead lean agile portfolio and big programs in the big agile lean enterprises. Let me explain how this two day program looks like. It covers different tools, techniques, as well as skills required to act as an agile lean portfolio manager. It's divided into three phases. Phase one, foundation. In phase one, we are going to look at the bigger picture and then find out why lean portfolio management is important in today's world. That is focus area for lesson one. Why lean portfolio management is important, how it's different from traditional portfolio management. Then in lesson two, we will look into few anti-patterns, few pitfalls of project-based accounting. What kind of problems you encounter when you have got a project-based accounting, how you need to uh, you know, uh, get right kind of people, how you need to justify any cost overspend and still try to deliver outcome which customer is looking for. So we'll explore all different challenges, problems faced with project-based accounting in lesson two. Once we are clear, about why we need to change, why lean portfolio management is quite important. Then in lesson three, we'll start exploring ways through which you can connect enterprise strategy to portfolio. At the end of day, portfolio vision, portfolio roadmap should be aligned with what you are trying to achieve at an organizational level. Once we have got that foundation in place, we'll start with phase two, advance. In this phase, we'll commence our journey by exploring what need to be done in order to develop your portfolio roadmap. What kind of things, factors, which will influence when you come up with your portfolio solution roadmap and how you can keep it aligned with whatever is required to be done at an organizational level. Once we have gone through, gone through this uh, stage, we'll start exploring in lesson five, portfolio epics and portfolio epic estimation. Portfolios, are there to serve purpose, which is set at an organizational level. You have got OKRs, you have got strategic themes, which are defined at the enterprise level. As a portfolio, you want to achieve all those strategic goals, and that is done through something called as epics. Epics are significant amount of investment which you need to make in order to deliver those business outcomes. So how to define, how to refine those portfolio epics, how to come up with a lean business case, how to come up with an epic cost, how to come up with a benefit hypothesis statement, how to come up with the success criteria. All those aspects are covered in this lesson. Once you are clear about what is your portfolio vision, how is your portfolio roadmap look like, like, and then which are the epics on which you need to focus on to achieve that outcome. Then in lesson six, we'll start exploring four lean budget guardrails. So how you can allocate budget within your portfolio based on different dimensions. So if your portfolio is trying to create a solution or multiple solutions and those solutions are one which are already established or those which are emerging or those which are on the verge of retirement, then you need to have different approaches. So we'll explore different budget guardrails in this lesson six. Once we are clear about foundation and then different advanced uh, topics related to lean portfolio management, we'll commence or continue our journey in phase three, expert. In this phase, we'll start exploring different lean portfolio management events. So when you talk about agile, when you talk about business agility, expectation is that everyone, right from the individual team member till someone who is leading a portfolio or leadership group, they are following agile practices, principles, and values. So LPM events, Lean Portfolio Management events, help you to apply those things at a portfolio level. So you'll understand what kind of things you can do, what kind of uh, events you can have or meetings you can have wherein entire portfolio will be sync. How you can do appraisal, how you can do review or governance of portfolio, how you can ensure that everyone who is working across portfolio, whether it is at an agile team level or agile program level or really strain level, how they are connected, how they are delivering outcomes which are expected. So LPM events uh, lesson will help you to understand 
what cadences, what practices, what events you need to put in place in order to coordinate that work across a portfolio. Once we have understood all that, we'll start exploring next in next lesson value stream budgets. Unlike traditional budgeting cycle, which is usually you know starts at the uh, uh, particular financial year and then finishes at the year, the expectation is that whatever annual funding is allocated is used by the programs or portfolio. If you don't use it, what happens next year? You will not be given similar type of funds, or same budget might not be, or more budget might not be allocated. As a result of that, there are a lot of anti patterns wherein people try to spend whatever budget is allocated on any initiative, any project without realizing whether that is adding most value or not. So establishing value stream budget lesson will give you an alternative. It will help you understand how you can have participatory budgeting, how you can come up with a budgeting concept which will involve everyone, which will sponsor and fund values or things which are going to add value rather than trying to put things in a in a bucket by assuming that you know we know how that entire year is going to span out. So we'll explore that value stream budgets in in lesson eight and we'll wrap up this program with lesson nine, which is lean governance and coordination. So when you talk about portfolio within portfolio, you can have different value streams and within value stream, you can have multiple release trains or agile team of teams. And within each agile team of teams or release train, you can have five to 12 agile teams. Now, how do we ensure that there's a right kind of governance in place? How we ensure that all those teams are coordinating their work, all those release trains are coordinating their work, or value streams are coordinating their work in a such a way that portfolio's vision is fulfilled. So we are going to explore what are the essential roles in order to maintain that governance at a portfolio level, what kind of coordination activities needs to be done at this level? So that's about uh, nine lessons, three phases, which are covered within Lean Portfolio Manager certification program. It is a quite advanced program. If you are new to Agile ways of working, probably it might be too early for you, but if you have worked in Agile Enterprise, you have got some experience, fundamental knowledge about how Agile teams operate, how a, a big program operate by applying Agile, then this is right fit for you. So if you're interested and curious to learn more, feel free to register to at the below link uh, to one of our upcoming Agility Academy experts led online live um, safe lean portfolio manager program. Uh, if you are still not sure or you got many more questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can call on plus one five zero nine six five four double nine zero five or you can WhatsApp or Telegram plus six one four five one eight double one one six four to discuss next steps. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, wish you good luck and looking forward to help you support you to achieve your career goals and bring in more agility at a portfolio level across your organization. Thank you.